Hello. So, uh, like during this day, we had some chat about cross, and uh, today I'm sort of giving you a really quick summary on uh, why Rust is a good language for our purpose. safety. Having your player crash obviously is a problem for the user. Having your transcoding pipeline infinity loop is even a bigger problem if you are a company that is uh, doing conversions. And obviously uh, currently or maybe in the last years the best trade off have been using a language that is inherently unsafe by being as careful as possible. So most of our projects are made using C, a bit of assembly, and lots and lots and lots of care. But obviously, bugs slips. So how can we do better? There is Rust. Rust is a language that uh, gives you out of box the ability to avoid all the possible memory errors. So you cannot have no the de reference, you cannot have lots of other issues. It's a language that gives us better primitives. It's a language that is a little higher level than C, so we have better abstraction, and they do not cost us. And it provides a bunch of uh, interesting tools. The memory management in Rust is made so you don't have any way to take a no de reference. There is no garbage collection, so you don't have problem with performance if you're using uh, multiple threads, like uh, it happens in Go. And uh, it has a strict memory ownership model. That means that uh, you cannot have a situation in which you have user after free, or having a situation in which different threads uh, end up writing the same variable. What I mean with uh, better primitives, uh, we all have experience with C. C is a very good language, but sometimes you are bound to hope that the compiler gets you what you want. Some operations that are a single instruction in most of the CPU uh, are not mapped to uh, some construct in C directly. What does it mean? If you want to use a rotate, if you want to use a byte swap, if you want to use a pop count, in Rust, they are explicit operations. It's part of the language. We have them. Uh, another interesting issue that happens in C is the undefined behavior on mathematical operation. Wrapping a uh, sign variable is something that could be something depending on which is your architecture. In Rust, you can be explicit, which is the behavior that, uh, that you want to achieve you can uh, especially uh, state it because the language that you do that. Uh, and it's a good language since out of box you have all the primitives that you would expect. Complex <coughs> atomic uh, variables, reference counting uh, facilities. Everything is part of the library. What I meant with uh, single cost abstraction uh, Rust is not an object-oriented language. In Rust you have uh, a concept that is close to the Java interface that is called trade. And we can leverage the trade to write generic code. So any function can uh, decide to take a trade, actually a variable implementing some trade, and then you can have any kind of structure implementing the trade, and then that code will work with that variable. And everything, uh, most of the time, the sugars 
to just the actual implementation. Uh, in Rust, we use the term uh, monomorphize, that is pretty much the opposite of uh, polymorphize. So you can write uh, your code in a terse way and get your implementation uh, as fast as possible. Uh, all of it is possible because uh, Rust has a safe mode, a default safe mode, but sometimes you might do go outside the target loop. How to our safe mode? Well, the compiler doubles as a static analyzer. So the compiler can understand <coughs> most of what you want to do and make sure that you are not making uh, easy mistakes. But obviously the compiler is not perfect and in some situation you know what you are doing but the compiler does not. So we have the concept of unsafe block. If you are doing something like uh, assessing directly simple operation, that is something that the compiler uh, does not have uh, full knowledge about, then you can use an unsafe block and use that. It's not a thing using unsafe, it's fine. Just use it sparingly. Don't uh, try to just write uh, a better thing using uh, the last facilities just because of that. That's a suggestion. Uh, what else? Tools. We like tools. We like to have tools ready. And uh, Rust does quite a bad, uh, good job of, uh, of that. The Rust ecosystem lets you have everything from the build system up to the language server system so you can use whatever editor you like and have code completion. Uh, checks and so on. So if you like Visual Studio, you have a, a good support for, uh, for it out of box. If you like Vim, it works the same way. This is a very, uh, nice one. Uh, I like a lot testing and uh, Rust support that out of box. It's actually part of the language. I like benchmarks as well. And the, the build system is aware of the fact that you want to have benchmarks. So you can use cargo that is the name and run the benchmark uh, from it. And there is uh, a plethora of uh, nice uh, third-party benchmark system that are uh, even better. So if you have something that you would like to improve that is already provided by the language, you can overread it. So if you want to use Criterion instead of the standard bench uh, system, you can do that. Uh, same thing for uh, code formatting. There is Rust format that is uh, pretty decent. There is somebody there that uh, managed to improve it. And uh, if you want to try something that uh, usually doesn't work that nicely in other languages, uh, there is a neat system that is called Clipium that uh, actually managed uh, to help you improve your code. So it doesn't just catch uh, additional style issue, but actually can uh, give you uh, some hints on how to make your code faster. So using Clippy is against, against something that I would suggest. And since Rust, the Rust compiler currently is sits on top of LLVM, all the low level tools that you would expect to use are available. So the code coverage, can work uh, to the normal LLVM uh, code coverage support. Uh, if you want to cross compile, all the targets that are supposed by, supported by LLVM are available. And if, since probably you have already experience with CLAN, <coughs> using Rust to cross compile is a simple. And nothing is perfect. So I told you. All the things that I consider nice about the Rust <coughs> environment, and now I have a page on what is not there yet. In Rust, you have uh, the stable uh, language, the beta language, and the nightly language. If you want to use Rust, you can use uh, Rust stuff to install all of them in a quite easy way. And then you can switch from one to another, just uh, passing to cargo, plus nightly, or plus stable, or plus beta. Uh, why do you want to try to use Nightly? Because all the cool toys are there, and sometimes you want to add them. 
some example. Currently in stable, we have uh, the SIMD support just for x86. Do you want to try Neon uh, with Rust? You should try, you should have, uh, use Nightly for now. You want to uh, play with Inline Assembly? Currently it's just available in Nightly. Rinse and repeat <coughs> for new stuff that you might want to try or you might, you might want to use. Using Nightly uh, is not amazing if you uh, care about uh, stability since something could change. But at the same time, it is usually the compiler itself is uh, without many bugs or without bugs at all, depending on the platform. Most of the issues that uh, I experience using Nightly were mainly uh, on platforms that are not that supported, namely PowerPC. On x86, I never had any, an issue using Nightly. Uh, and there is something that I would like to have in Rust, but currently is mainly on the drawing board. Const generics, that means that I can write a uh, generic code that takes a uh, constant value and make the code generic over it. This is currently not supported. It will be in a few months. Uh, compile time evaluated function that currently is sort of available nowadays is another feature that we might like because we do use uh, lots of lookup tables. And usually when we want to generate them, Either we do that on the fly, or we have uh, programs, and the bin system generates our uh, .h file with that. In Rust, we could do uh, theoretically a little better by having the compiler itself <coughs> generate the code for us. Actually, they generate the table for us. Rust has the ability to uh, compile and run uh, a restricted set of the language as a constant function. And this is a sort of cool feature that I would like to have now. It probably will appear in months. Uh, another item that could be good for some, but for another, the development of the language is really fast. Every few months you have a new stable version. Uh, it is usually compatible with the previous version. But if you're using Nightly, uh, sometimes that means that new stuff appears, new stuff that you might want to use, you might want to try, you have to show restraint. So if you have something that you want to uh, get in production, it's better if you keep using Sable and just wait those few months, six months, depending on the feature, before using it, or should before deploying it. And that's it. If you have a question, I'm here.